What's going on guys? We got another replay analysis. This is the day after Christmas or maybe two days after Christmas. I haven't decided when I'm putting this video out, but Merry Christmas to everyone or Happy Hanukkah. There's other holidays. I don't know the dates of them. So what's going on? We're doing APX Apollo. He's with his teammate X-Ray here. This is actually an unranked game, uh, but they said it's probably roughly around Rise and Star because he's about Challenger Elite, Challenger 3 at times. Uh, uh, depends on the rank and um, his buddy x-ray is about shooting star so roughly around rising star he said his unranked is pretty similar to his rank he believes so we'll go with it right uh, like somewhere right at top of challenger or uh, just into the blues just a little bit uh, but yeah let's get it into this replay now this is unranked he said he did try and go for a little bit more wacky stuff here or there uh, but also, X-Ray was taking it a little bit more seriously, possibly. So, we'll, we'll, I'll talk about both of them. But at the same time, when you're playing unranked, I even do this in ranked, though. My advice is always do um, weird stuff to get used to it. Because um, that's the only way that you can learn how to do a certain hit is if you actually try it and try it a lot. And sure, like, you can try it in training, but it's not the same as doing it in-game. Uh, you definitely want to try and do it in-game as well. Uh, but let's start over the face-off. He goes f uh, for the quick face-off and fools the other guy on the other team. Uh, the other guy goes for normal, so just throws it into the offensive end. Which is a good idea right there where he grabs the boost. His teammate was not cheating up, so it didn't turn into uh, pass and play. But uh, they still got some boost control a little bit out of that. Because that other guy... That was my goalie, never picked up a boost as well. Then this pass was pretty solid. Just going to throw that towards the front of the net. He actually gets a really good piece of the ceiling. Hits that curve, so it comes right back down. But generally, um, if you can throw the ball in front of the net high, then you're looking pretty good. Dingleberry there, tried to go up the wall to block it, which is probably not a great idea. I actually want to see where Dingleberry even came from here. Because, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure what he's doing here. Oh, see, right there. You see the uh, no ball cam going for boost. He has absolutely no idea where this ball is going. By the time he turns it back on, he, he starts to turn towards Apollo. But when you don't have ball cam on and you don't know what the play is going to happen, your best bet is to still drive towards the net. And when you do get surprised, you should actually continue to drive towards the net because then you have a little bit more time to react instead of trying to follow up on that ball where it's uh, up on the wall. It's not really going to work out well. But a uh, great pass there from Apollo. Got a really good piece of the ceiling. Or wall, whatever you want to call it. That like little curve. And uh, X-Ray just there to, to finish it off, which was pretty solid. They're just picking up boost. Uh, this pass is okay. Um, I actually thought he was just going to go for a back pass uh, from X-Ray. Which might have been better because uh, he had a lot of time here. Instead, he goes for that center pass off the... Um, off the curve which is pretty good it actually works out pretty decently but he might have had enough time to just throw it back because now it's a challenge in the air between the two and it was just a little bit closer well i shouldn't even say that it was closer but apollo got a little surprised by the curve hit and honestly there i probably would have went for the back pass uh this is just a bad read by apollo though what he should be doing is um waiting to see what x-ray does maybe a little bit more he knows he has ball control. I figure he's trying to go up for the pass in case X-Ray starts feeding him the ball. There, he, he just kind of reacts poorly to the curve hit, but it happens. Those curves are a pain in the ass. Um, and X-Ray, honestly, probably could have just gently rolled it back to him. Then Apollo could have done one of those backboard passes to a shot, something like that, to at least pull the goalies out of, uh, out of the net, uh, make him use boost, throw it high above the net. And that would have been a lot easier if he would have just thrown it back to him gently. Then you can get a nice pop on that. Nice play here by X-Ray. Uh, this is actually really bad clear by the other team. Not Tingleberry. What's the other guy? Straw Bailey. So let's watch this face-off unfold. So Tingleberry, he wins this. Like This is a good ball because it goes to uh, his teammate. Problem is he jumps there too, which you should never jump. You should try and play these off the bounce, and you don't really have to jump unless it's going pretty high. He just does not get a good piece of that at all. He um, His momentum was a little bit too much to the left side of the ball, and then he tried to make it up for it with a roll. Uh, but since he got in the air at all, then it's going to keep this ball a lot lower than if he just stayed on the ground. What you want to do when you're going for clears like that, 
pretty much always throw them up high. Like, if you are going to throw it on their side of the field, never throw it low. Kind of what X-Ray does here. He's trying for a shot more so. Um, he does almost the exact same thing where, uh, like, it's going back and forth ping pong. But see how he jumps way too early? And now it's kind of on top of the ball. Not even on top, but he's level with the ball. So he can't get any height behind this. He should have stayed on the ground a little bit longer and then tried for the pop. Instead, he keeps it on the ground, makes it an easy save for Dingleberry. And instead, he could have thrown that high, thrown it off the back wall. Dingleberry has to make a really tough save or use a ton of boost as well. And uh, uh, that play could have worked out a little bit better. So that's just, like, the fundamental play of... Waiting for the bounce to get a good, clear um, attempt. And those are just, like, f a fundamental plays that you should be trying to do all the time when you have that much space. There's really no excuse for those. Um, all right, Dingleberry trying for the pass to the middle. Again, X-Ray getting a little bit too high here. Uh, you want to keep these in the air whenever possible. So here, the ball's coming across. So I like to call this the panic mode save. He thinks somehow Dingleberry is going to be closer to this ball and take a shot the reason why he thinks this it's kind of like um when you're walking on like say uh, say you're walking on a beam like in construction like if the beam is on the ground these construction guys can walk you know really fast across them like run across them but if they're walking across a beam and they're five stories up they're gonna walk very very slowly and try not to panic because the mind is a fucking crazy crazy beast but this is kind of that in a way because the ball is close to his own goal so what's his name again i forgot x-ray he is trying to uh, he panics a little bit and he's like i have to make the save no matter what so he jumps way too early here when this is his ball he has ball control here said he jumps way too early then throws it down uh, and dingleberry uh does the right move here he, he actually just kind of waits it out to see what type of clear this is going to be. He th like, he throws it out front. He's like, ah, the th oh, this is not going to be my ball. So he just kind of waits it out, and the ball comes right to him. And you just got to be careful of the panic plays when the ball's near your net. Try and play it like you normally would. Like, think you have time, but it's, uh, it's a little tough. A little tough. No fast kickoff there. Just going for the diagonal. Normal. Works out. He dribbles it towards the boost, which is very smart. Now they both should have some boost. Going up for the aerial dribble. Nice. Good goal there. Um, so aerial dribbles. I have a beef with aerial dribbles for the most part. This is actually a good one because it stays high uh, in the net. Actually, not, not even. Like, it doesn't stay that high, but it stays high enough. Uh, but usually, personally, like, I, well, one, I'm terrible at uh, aerial dribbles. I'm not very good at them. But I see a lot of players making the mistake of trying to clear every single ball with an aerial dribble and then it just becomes um extremely easy for the defender to make a play of afterwards the reason why of aerial dribbles can be awful is because you use a ton of boost to push the ball forward slightly with your car and if someone just is patient and waits in net then all they have to do is wait till you run out of boost and wait for that last hit and then just take the ball off your car you might get a little bit of a 50 50 like if you do it pretty okay but the main thing is that defender is going to have boost now while you will have none and you will be out of position after the aerial dribble so you gotta be very careful where you use the aerial dribbles here it was a pretty solid one but dingleberry i'll explain what dingleberry does terribly wrong here um so as soon as you see someone aerial dribble you should try and get as far back as possible um, if you think that the ball will carry that far. And just wait to see what type of hits he does. I understand sometimes you want to challenge it because of the goalie. Uh, or because you think he'll hit it over your head. But here, see how Dingleberry doesn't really go into net. He kind of drives in front of the net. Look at all that space he had. Where he could have sat on the goal line. Waited for the play. And then made the save there. It still might have been pretty tough. Because uh, um, Apollo also on the um actually like he uh, doesn't uh, get the height so the thing is he uh, gets a good uh, aerial dribble here but at the end of the aerial dribble you kind of want to be above the ball to try to f uh, for that dunk he's not really above it so that could have been an easy save if the person was just on the goal line but it wasn't a bad aerial dribble there it was actually a pretty good idea since it obviously worked um 
but usually those are very easily uh, defended, so just be careful with where you use them. I see a ton of players around the Grand Champ level. All they'll do is when the ball's on the wall, they'll just aerial dribble it off right uh, into a defender, and it just takes them out of the play, and it really doesn't work all that well. Like, it's uh, really cool to look at, uh, plus the uh, mechanical skill. It's fantastic, but you just got to think about, like, what is this play going to do for me in the long run? Like, will I be in a good position at the end of this? Will I have any boost? And if both those answers are no, it's probably not worth it to do it unless it's a goal. Uh, so, just got to be a little careful here. Here, he, uh, this is one of those plays that that's like an unranked play for sure. Like, Apollo goes up for this even though Dingleberry's there. He really wants that ball. Obviously, it didn't really work out. But let's go to X-Ray here real quick and see what X-Ray does on this play. So one thing I like is he's not trying to throw the ball forward. Whenever you get a challenge, like right here, when you can see where the other guy is, don't worry about moving the ball necessarily even forward. Just try and hit it around the one guy. In twos, this is a huge deal. There's only one guy left. Threes, it's not as huge because there's probably two guys left. But if you can make someone miss every single time you have the ball, then you're doing something well. And um, like in the long run, that's going to pay off. Here, he does a good job, just throws it around him. It actually does curve up the wall, but he doesn't get it where it just rolls on the wall. And also, he kind of flipped into the wall, so he couldn't follow it up. But that's fine. He got it um, around the one player, so it puts him into the offensive end. Here, Apollo's trying for the pass. Just gets under this ball a little bit too much. So this first hit, actually, a little too fast. He tries to slow it down as best he can, he can to roll it up the wall. So not a bad idea. Ball just pops up a little too much. He actually just jumps off this wall a little bit too early. Now, I'm not one to talk about wall aerials too much because I am honestly awful at them. But you can see here, he just jumps a little bit too early. You want to be behind that ball, like between the wall and the ball, to try and lob that into the center of the play. And he just jumped a little bit early, but that's a tough play. Good read here. Like, this is actually a really good play. Um... It's a risky play for sure because I'm like, eh, maybe it's in the curve, maybe it's not. But he reads it correctly, knows it's in the curve, so just goes back towards his boost. I'm not sure if he actually has boost because um, it could have been glitched out. But uh, then moves up maybe just a little bit too far. Dingleberg does get it over him. Luckily, X-Ray is there. Sometimes you'll make plays like this where you think you have a better chance, but always watch out for the bounce hit. It's the most powerful hit in the game, basically, when you have, like, no... Uh, a momentum at all and dingleberry no momentum at all actually i'm sorry he doesn't even go for the bounce hit he fakes the bounce hit or like i would say this is a fake bounce hit and just plays it off the top of his car with the flip and gets enough momentum on it to get it over him which is surprising but i would still be a little bit careful obviously there and just uh try and wait it out when they have ball possession and you're the last one back you don't want to creep forward unless you think a dribble is coming um, cause you want to, like, uh, once they make their first move, then you want to try and stop that. Uh, but there, there's no real dribble. Um, but that's hindsight 2020 at the same time, cause it could have been a dribble. So, and then, uh, the shot goes in, he couldn't make the save. And that was all because he inched forward on the previous play. Decent ball here. Um, could have maybe rolled it up the wall and then made a better center attempt, but... It happens. Like, you're just trying to throw it in the end. Sometimes it's better to just throw deep in their end, wait for their mistake. It's kind of like hockey in a way. It's a hockey, you throw it deep in their end to try and gain uh, possession in the offensive side. Um, in this instance, you just wait for, like, a mistake from the other team. Uh, this play, you just got to roll this up your wall. Um, just a little bit of panic play. Like, if he rolls it up his wall, he might have a little bit of a better chance or at least try and pop it like as soon as you, you realize it's going in front of your net try and do some little move to confuse the other team but didn't work out for him there he gets dunked on gffb and here we go down by two let's see how this goes oh good save there so he was he was looking for the pass didn't really work out let's see x-ray see x-ray right here honestly when you have this much time there's no need to just bash this off the corner this is really not doing anything for you by just bashing off the corner it's most likely going to go to the other team i see he tries to throw it near his teammate but still he has all the time in the world he could take his sweet sweet time he probably could have waited for another bounce and then cleared it out or dribbled it out just got to be careful with just trying to bash it around your corners it's not always the best idea 
And when you have a lot of time, make sure you use that time. And I say this like every video, um, it feels like. You always use your time um, effectively if you can. Which sometimes means just throwing it deep into their end. Sometimes means just trying to make one person miss. It's not always a goal necessarily. It's just trying to win those little battles to, to win the war eventually. Now this is a lot of trust uh, from Apollo. Uh, usually on these plays, the ball is going to come off the wall. And they'll actually center it more laterally. Uh, so X-Ray uh, could have centered this more laterally, which he kind of does there. That's why it was a weird play for Apollo to move up so far. He should have just a uh, handbrake turned and got ready for that pass, because usually these are more uh, lateral than, uh, than going down uh, the field. And there, he would have had a really good play. Like If, um, if he just handbrake turns, then he could follow that pass up. But he's trying to push up too far, and, and you have to be careful on those wall plays, because usually they're trying to pass it sideways more than anything. Uh, nice win there from X-Ray. Ooh, Jess misses that near post. Like, uh, this is the shot that you want to do, though. Near post shots are good. He does take a little bit of extra time. At this point, it's a two-on-one. If he just taps this against the wall, like if Apollo goes for the unselfish play, then this is a free goal. Um, like If he would have attacked that sooner and just tap it softly, X-Ray could probably finish that goal. But he, he goes for the shot. He just whiffs. You know what happens. And then uh, they just can't get back in time. X-Ray going for the 50-50. Got to be careful on these. Uh, when the other team has the ball and he's right behind the ball, you really want to make sure that you get behind the ball as well and at least make it go completely sideways, not sideways and back to your net. Uh, but those are tough plays. Sometimes it's hard to read them and dunks happen. Trying for the fancy kickoff. Doesn't work. <laughs> that again, he's saying, so, like here or there, you know, just trying to fool around a bit because it's unranked, which... Hey, I'm all for. I'm all for that. Dingleberry with the whiff here twice, actually. Ooh, can he get the pass out? Beautiful. All right, that works. That's all you got to do sometimes is throw it to the middle and good things will happen. He gets that extra little touch. Dingle can't do anything about it. But I do like what he's trying to do here. He, he was going a little fast off the wall. I probably would have tried for the backboard play um, and just, like, pegged it off the wall quickly. But he still got it out front, and good things happen sometimes when you just throw it out front. So... Good goal there. See if he can make a play here. Good idea there. Trying to front flip and bother the goalie to try and make that next play. Worst case scenario, you grab their boost and just head on back. It's not the end of the world. So, oh, the dunk. Beautiful read here as well. So there, they almost got confused. But X-Ray making the good play. Like, See, that was an unselfish play there from X-Ray. Just trying to beat the other guy. Which he does. But problem is, he doesn't beat himself. It hits off his car. And, uh... That ruined uh, the pass attempt, but Apollo with a good finish. Great job there. Let's see it again. Just kind of being patient there. Just trying to be in front of him. He's mostly there trying to waste time so X-Ray uh, uh, can get back in time. But it worked out. Got the dunk. And now they're back in this game all of a sudden when they were down a lot earlier on. Try for the bounce hit here. Again, just getting a little bit too high on that ball. Like That ball could have got a lot higher if you... Uh, um, if you allow it, and then Dingleberry would have had a much worse clear. This clear wasn't great to begin with. Uh, it was actually really, really bad, but it could have been even worse. Um, and you always want to try and make the toughest play possible for your opponents, and generally that's in the air, because people are not that good in the air. Um, around Challenger Elite, Rising Star level, that is definitely true. So, X-Ray trying to make some plays, going for the Doomsie Dish. Almost gets it. Good try there. Actually, let's go to X-Ray. Let's see this play from his point of view. So he gets the little tap. Tries to come off the wall. Oh, he goes for the side flip and so close. That was actually a really good attempt for that type of play because that was an awkward, uh, like, angle. Here again, Apollo trying for it this time. Doesn't get it. And they got 40 seconds. They still have time, but, but they are going to start having to reach a bit. Here we go. Another aerial dribble. This time, I was going to say Dingleberry reads right, but he doesn't at all. I thought he was about to, but he doesn't. All right. So let's watch Dingleberry here. This time he's in net. He's actually behind the ball, which is what you want. Like, as far back as you can, this makes an easy save. Let's see what uh, what went wrong here. So Apollo's dribbling it in. He's got the boost. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Just wait it out. He's already at a bad angle. Now he's getting a little bit better angle. And then, see, look how far over he is to the left. You see how this ball is still coming to the right? It would be, I guess, that way. Um, but Dingleberry actually takes a terrible angle when all he had to do was... Uh, 
So if he's behind this ball, he wins this 50-50. Like, it's going to bash off his corner and go out, and, and then they got a 2-1-1. -on -one. But he takes a terrible angle um, at the end of it. And it's not like Apollo really did anything to change it. See, right there, like, Apollo, he has no boost left. He's just trying to get in the way of the dunk, which is what you want to do on the aerial dribble, like I said before, where you want to set yourself up to have a dunk attempt, at least. So he does set himself up. He gets kind of behind the ball, and it worked out there, but terrible angle from Dingleberry. That's twice now that's worked on him. Uh, that's just terrible defense, and it's very easy to stop aerial dribbles. They look great. It's a very good mechanical play, but all you have to do is just sit behind the ball, make sure your car is behind the ball completely, and you will win those like 99 times out of 100. But didn't work out. Apollo again going for the aerial pass in play, but... Kind of works again, like, they just have no answer for them. Uh, Dingleberry again, kind of uh, messing up. And then, oh, Straw sets out a good pass for Apollo. And let's watch uh, the play from Straw here. This is a pretty poor play. Like, Apollo's out of the play. He has time. What you want to do there is roll it up the wall because you know Dingleberry is not in net since he just made that play. You're trying to waste as much time as possible, so you want to roll it up the wall. At least make X-Ray try and make that shot off the wall, which is... Not necessarily easy, uh, but instead he, he centers it perfectly, and X-Ray just with the whiff doesn't really work out. Apollo trying to keep this in, and looks like we're going overtime. All right, let's go. Overtime. All right, getting the boost. Oh, just flipped by it a little bit, but all right. His teammates got his back. This is dangerous. All right, so this is really dangerous. Once he wins this, like, if you're going to go, go for this ball. But he does not, and Straw is there. He gets very lucky that Straw doesn't do anything with this ball. I think it's mostly because Ray goes uh, for that bump play. So that was actually a really good play by X-Ray. Otherwise, that's a goal. X-Ray trying to make up for it. Dingleberry gets the pass out to the middle, though. And that's the end of the game. And that's all because he tried to get a little bit too antsy on that play right there. Like, sometimes... When X-Ray hits that, it's just better to be like, all right, screw it. This offensive try didn't work and just head on home. Uh, but he tries to stay with it, even though that's definitely Straw's ball. And that cost him the game right there. X-Ray tries to make up for it. Uh, let's see what X-Ray might have been able to do a little bit different. M maybe you wait for that ball. Of course, hindsight's 20-20. You let Dingle throw it into the corner and you just follow it. But it doesn't work out. He tried for the early challenge. It just didn't work out, but it happens. And that'll do it, guys. Another replay analysis. Thank you, Apollo. Thank you guys for watching. You can get on the replay tier, patreon.com. So that's Gib00 if you want. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Hope you guys had a good holiday. Have a happy new year.